Da, 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 da. It is episode 195. Episode 195, it's the Kent Herbeck episode. I'm MP Fox. MC's not here because we're showing cards from before 2017. But today we're going to be looking at Twins' great hometown boy, Kent Herbeck. said i'm mp fox and today we're looking at kent herbeck uh why because growing up i was a twins fan i've always been a herbie fan he is a minnesota boy and he still is there and he's got a bar and grill that's connected to uh where the twins play now at target field and you can often see him there so we're going to run through some kent herbeck cards because i do have some and uh they're always fun to look at and fun to get out so the first one we're going to look at is the 1988 Tops team leader cards. Um, Tops came out where they had uh, cards with multiple players from the team and showing the leaders. Um, this one here, he's pictured with Gary Gaetti, the Twins' third baseman, um, and it just shows the popularity of Herbeck because if you look at the stats from '87, uh, we should have had Kirby Puckett and Gary Gaetti on this card instead of Herbeck. Everybody loved some Kent Herbeck in those days. So that is why he is on there, and like I said, he is a Minnesota born and raised, and he's going to be planted in Minnesota probably, unless he retires down to Florida like everybody else, or Arizona, who knows. Uh, the next one is a 1994 Tops Kent Herbeck. Um, great picture there as he's watching the ball sail over the fence. He was remembered as a home run hitter. He had 298 home runs in his career. Um, that was kind of shortened at time from time with uh, little minor nagging injuries. Uh, but he was always a solid hitter. And some things that uh, you might not know, in 91 he did have a 17-game hitting streak. And also in 1982 he had a 23-game uh, hitting streak. And there's the back, another picture of Herbie. Cool beans, cool beans. And then we're going to show the 84 tops. I love the 84 design. Of the tops with the uh, little photo down here in the corner and then the action shot of the player uh, but this is his fourth year card um, and it's I always think this is funny when I see this because it shows Kent Herbeck running and as we know Kent Herbeck was not much of a runner um, but he did uh, you know have a good career and apparently he did run we have proof of that but he homered in back-to-back -back games in 1981, and uh, you can see he was a trimmer, and he did steal 12 bases. So maybe that's what that is, one of his stolen bases. Um, now we're going to move on to a 1990 Tops. Uh, personally, I'm not a big, huge fan of these borders here, um, but just shows him kind of in a, hey, let's watch off in the distance and see what's going on. Um, he made his first All-Star game in 1982, um, part of his career, he did uh, have a five-hit game in 1986. So that has to be fun to get a five-hit game. Um, but that's cool. And in 1988, he did get his 1,000th hit. So he did put the ball into play, as we've seen. But it's strange because as much as I don't like these borders, I, I don't mind these. Um, and this is the Dunruss, the 91 Dunruss, uh, for some reason. They don't give me a problem. Um, with the blue borders, and in 1982 or 1989, uh, Kent Herbeck did have five RBIs in two different games against the Jays and the Tigers. And we're gonna bring the Tigers up in a little bit too. Uh, but uh, this is when he had his 23 game hitting streak, which is pretty pretty amazing. And um, he was destined for absolute stardom. I, if he would have stayed healthy, and maybe if he would have kept some of the weight off, he could have been a potential Hall of Famer. I'm thinking. Uh, but those little nagging injuries that come with being kind of big kind of kind of derailed his career um, And then here is another Dunruss the 89 with the black borders Dunruss did have some pretty gaudy Gaudy looking cards, but I don't mind those as much as those that tops one um, Here we've got an 89 tops of Kent Herbeck the little chaw This is a design that I absolutely love with a little swoosh reminding of a pennant or a jersey um, But the lump of chaw. Yep. It was a chewer um, he did have a great playoff run in 1987, and it culminated in the uh, Game 6 Grand Slam that he hit against the Cardinals. And there's the back. A little red back there. Um, now we're moving on to a 1990 Bowman. 
right there. And the interesting thing about the Bowman, and this is where um, I said we might talk about the Tigers later, it has got stats on the back like most cards, but this is a breakdown of how the player did against each team, and this probably won't focus. But if you look at his stats, he had the best stats against the Tigers. So bring on the Tigers. Um, this is a great action shot. This is a 1989 score. Um, nice little nice little swing there. And in 1985, he hit three grand slams. That's pretty cool. And he was the player of the month in August. So I guess he was the player of the month once in 88. So there's the front and the back. And I think out of all these, I might like this one the best. Just for the picture there. But for card designs, I like this one the best. And that is the 1986 tops. I always like that with the black top and for some reason like it. And as you see out of these cards, you only saw him running once. He was not fleet of foot, this man. And if you see him now, he definitely isn't. Very nice. And a little twins twins trivia stat. There's a pitcher by the name of Jerry Arigo, Ariago. I don't even know how to say it. Uh, but in 1964, he threw the Minnesota Twins' very first one-hitter. Never heard of him. But now you know, and now I know. Until next time, I'm MP Fox. Peace. Hello, people on the internet. This is CM Fox coming back to you not live because you might be watching this a year later. Let, let me just quick check what we have next. Oh my, we have a special guest in the next video, but we can't say what it's going to be because it's a surprise. So, they will see you in the next episode. Bye! Wow. I was ready.